The reason I came to CWC was pretty simple. Uh, my family didn't have the money um, to send me to college at all. And because I didn't think I could afford college, I decided, all right, when I finish high school, I'm gonna go start a band. I'm gonna you know, record horrible songs by myself, however I can, and, and tour the country. And my mom, hugely to her credit, she said, maybe just go and talk to the music professors at CWC. Tell them what you want, what you enjoy doing, and show them what you can do. When I walked in the door to sit down with Bob Husa, who was the vocal professor at the time, he just opened right up, you know, with open arms. He said, all right, show me what you got. And literally on the spot, Bob offered me a full ride. He offered me a full scholarship to cover my tuition. Bob saw my passion at 18 years old, and he said, I have an opportunity, and I'm gonna give it to you. That is why I chose CWC. I, I received scholarships, obviously, sort of coming from a low-income family, we were given opportunities to receive state opportunities to co help cover tuition, but it wasn't enough. I was given a couple of scholarships, again, based on the fact that this school and this music department really wanted me here. And I also received a wonderful scholarship from the private, uh, private donor, um, uh, George and Margaret Reynolds. I did have the opportunity to meet Margaret Reynolds, and she was a delight. She was wonderful. I met her my sophomore year. Jazz choir performed at the, uh, the Arts Center, and she happened to be in the audience. She said hello to me afterwards, and you know, when she introduced herself, I just was like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And she said, no, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because that is the core of when, especially when a private donor is trying to provide a student, somebody who just believes in you know, any career path that somebody wants to take, but for me specifically, somebody who believes in art and music and sees in me something that they want to foster and something that they want to help. She really truly wanted to help me have a future in music. And I say her because her husband, George, had actually passed away before um, I had the chance to, to meet him. But, you know, the big thing that she told me was that her husband was just such a huge fan of music. He was just so inspired by it his whole life. And being able to provide a student with a promising future and skill was one of the most important things to him in his legacy. And it was important to her that she provide that. And hearing that from her, it was huge. It was life-changing, you know. It really does start with, do you really want this? And are you gonna show up and work for it?